Today we are going to do a gentle beginner level yoga class. So if you have been away from yoga for a while or if you've been thinking about starting yoga, this class will feel really good for your body. It would be great if you just took a moment to make sure that you're in a place that's fairly quiet, some space to yourself, maybe close the door, definitely have your cell phone away from you and turned off. You just want to give this time to yourself and then we can get started. Let's find a comfortable seated position. If you feel that you can sit comfortably with your legs crossed, that's a perfect way to start. If it's uncomfortable for you to cross your legs, completely fine. Just find a seated position that feels good to your body. You can just have your feet together or even legs out in front of you if you need to. If you would like to try half lotus, that would be placing one foot on top of your opposite leg, but we don't want to force ourselves into anything that is uncomfortable for your knees or for your hips. So just find that seated position that feels comfortable for you. From here, we want to make sure that we're not slouching. So let's lift the top of the head towards the ceiling. Try not to push the chin up, but the very top of your head. So your neck and your spine lengthen. We're going to let the shoulders slide down away from the ears. Your hands and your arms can rest however they want to be. And from here, go ahead and close your eyes. You want to let your focus turn inward. Then, closing your mouth and starting to breathe through your nose. And now focusing on that breath. Each inhale, filling your lungs. Try not to shrug your shoulders, but letting your chest expand. When your lungs are completely full, we'll exhale slowly through the nose. Emptying your lungs completely before you take the next breath in. Everyone has a different lung capacity, so everyone has a different breathing pattern. You are taking this moment to find the breath that fits your body. And then we'll continue those slow, deep breaths throughout class. center of the body. We're going to bend the elbows slightly so you're pulling your shoulder blades towards each other, contracting and strengthening those muscles in your upper back, but your chest is lifted and open. Let's take a few breaths. interlace the fingers and press the palms of the hands forward. We don't want to lean forward, but we want to push forward through the palms of the hands. Let's tuck the chin towards the chest, then 
press your spine towards the wall behind you as you continue to reach forward through the arms. So we're taking the opposite stretch. Now we're contracting the muscles in the chest. We're stretching across the back between the shoulder blades. Also getting a little stretch through the back of the neck. Towards the floor. 
chest open. Now the muscles in your back are contracting and strengthening. Your abdominals are getting the stretch. And this is cow pose. So we're going to exhale into cat, rounding your back, stretching your back. And then inhaling, cow, arching your back, stretching your abdominals. Following your breath, setting your own pace. Each exhale is cat, and each inhale is cow. We're not in any hurry. You want to use your full breath in each direction. Let's return to a neutral spine. We'll come back to the center. And from here, we want to come down to the elbows. We're going to do a plank from the forearms. So you want the sides of your hands or the palms of your hands pressing into the ground. Tighten the center of the body. We're going to extend the legs straight back, tucking the toes under. So you can press back to the heels and reach forward through the top of the head. We want to lengthen the body. We don't want to keep the hips up, but we also don't want to let the hips sink down. You want your hips centered and your body long and flat. You are more than welcome to bring your knees to the ground anytime. Let's hold that strong plank for a few breaths.
Let's return to the hands and knee. And from here, we're going to go into our downward dog pose. We'll tuck the toes under, then lifting the knees off the ground, we're going to use the strength in the arms to press your body back. Think about pressing your hips back towards the wall behind you so your spine starts to lengthen. And now we're going to alternate heel presses, pedaling one heel at a time towards the floor. So you're feeling that stretch through your feet, through your calf muscles. If this becomes uncomfortable in your wrists or your shoulders, you're more than welcome to bring your knees to the mat anytime. Now let's inhale and lift up onto the toes. And as we exhale, we're going to press the body back both heels reaching back and down towards the mat at the same time. It's fine if your heels aren't going to touch the mat, but we want to keep reaching them towards the mat into that stretch. Let's do that again. Inhaling up onto the toes. And exhaling, pressing back, heels towards the ground. And again, inhaling up onto the toes. And exhaling, pressing back, heels towards the mat, and your head dropping between your arms, always pushing back into the stretch. This is our downward dog. Now from downward dog, let's look up at the hands and we're going to step the right foot all the way up between the hands into a lunge. This does not have to happen in one big step. You can bring your left knee to the ground if that's helpful to bring your right foot up between your hands. You can take a couple of steps. You could even use your right arm to help your right foot come up. Or if your hips are nice and open today, you can take that step up with your right foot. We want the right foot to be flat on the ground as we bend the right knee and press back through the left heel. And there's our lunge. In this lunge, we're stretching both legs. We're just stretching them in different places. From here, let's turn to the left and walk the hands to the center of the mat. So you're creating a stance with a lot of space between your feet, a nice wide stance. Just let your head drop down. If your neck is a little tight, you can turn your head or nod your head. Just shake out any tension that might have built up. We want to grab into the mat with the feet, anchoring into the ground. And as we inhale, we'll lift the chest and we'll open the arms and we'll reach up, pushing down through the feet, reaching up through the fingertips. A nice stretch. And then we'll exhale forward all the way down. And with the next inhale, lifting the chest, lifting the arms, reaching up, and exhaling all the way down. This is our sunflower. Again, you are following your breath, moving at your own pace. Slow, full breath. Next exhale, we'll stay in the forward fold. And 
in this forward fold, let's start to rock the hips side to side. Your legs can stay straight if that's most comfortable. You could soften your knees if you want to shift yourself a little further from one side to the other. If your legs are loosening up and you want to go into a side lunge, it's just a deeper bend in each knee. Your knees and your hips are going to tell you how far to go. Completely up to you. Let's return to the center. And from here, we'll go back to our lunge, walking the hands to the top of the mat, shifting the feet, right knee bent, left leg straight. And we'll step the right foot back, downward dog, fingers pointing straight ahead, pushing through the arms, reaching the hips back, Reaching the heels towards the ground. Now looking up at the hands, let's step the left foot all the way up and into the lunge. Again, you can take as many steps as you like. Left knee bent, right leg straight, pushing back through the right heel. Now, with your left foot pressing into the ground, let's step the right foot up, forward fold. Feet together, your head dropping down, neck and shoulders relax. So we're feeling a nice stretch through the back of the legs, through the lower back. In this forward fold, let's place the right hand against your shins. Now if your hands are comfortably touching the floor, right hand on the ground in front of your feet is fine. But if it's not comfortable to touch the ground, your right hand against your shins is perfect. We're going to take a twist at the waist, looking over your left shoulder and watching your left hand reach up towards the ceiling. Now, we don't want to twist the arm. If we turn the arm over, it's going to make us round our back. We want the shoulder and the chest open, your fingertips lifting up, deep breath. Let's hold it here. Exhaling, folding forward, left hand to your shins or to the floor. We're going to twist, looking over the right shoulder, watching your right hand reach up, and your palm of the hand facing the same direction that you are facing as we lift up through the fingertips. Breathing deeply. Exhaling, folding forward. And now, placing both hands at your shins, or both hands on the ground in front of your feet, we're going to go into monkey pose. We're going to increase the stretch through the hamstrings, through the back of the legs. We want to arch the back, the way we were doing in cow pose. Lifting the chest, looking up, pressing your rib cage towards the ground. Now you're going to feel that extra stretch through the hamstring. If it's too intense, if it's painful, feel free to bring your hands further up your legs so you can arch your back and get that stretch without it being painful. Monkey pose. Key. 
Keep looking up. Keep breathing. And then we'll exhale on the fourth forward, letting your head drop, letting your neck and shoulders relax. We want to bring the hands to the ground. You can bend your knees as much as you need to to make that happen. Let's step the right foot back and into a lunge. And from here, we're going to turn the right foot sideways and press the right heel to the ground. So both feet are pressing into the mat. The left knee is still a little bent, abdominals tight. We're going into a warrior number one, lifting the chest and lifting the arms overhead. Now we want you to bend the left knee and continue to sink down with the hips. If you feel like your left knee is going to go past your toes, you want a little more space between your feet. Don't be afraid to adjust your stance as you need to. We want to sink down. And at the same time, we want to lift the rib cage in the chest and look up. You're reaching up through your arms. You're sinking down with your hips, lowering and lifting at the same time, using your whole body. Of course, we're still breathing deeply. This is warrior number one. Step the left foot back, downward dog. Now, let's inhale and lift up onto the toes. We'll exhale and press back, and maybe you can get your heels just a little bit closer to the mat than you could before. Looking up at the hands, we're going to step the right foot up into the lunge. And now we'll turn the left foot sideways, pressing the heel to the ground. Again, feel free to adjust your stance as you need to so you feel stable. Right knee still a little bent. We're pushing with both feet, abdominals tight, lifting the chest and lifting the arms. Now as we bend the right knee, we want to make sure that the knee is not going to go past the toes. We're lowering the hips, strong legs, at the same time lifting the upper body, watching your hands reach up, your hips sinking down. Deep breath.
to the hands and knees. Bringing the knees under the hips, hands under the shoulders. We're going to sit down on the mat. Let's turn to the side of the mat. Taking our feet apart. Opening up the hips, extending the legs to opposite ends of the mat. We're going to bend just the right knee, keeping that left leg extended. We want to stretch the right side of the body. So we'll bring the right arm up alongside the ear. Let's roll the shoulder back. And we're going to take the left arm to the outside of the left leg. Now we don't want to fold forward. You don't want to let your arm cross in front of your face. Keeping your right arm by your ear, let's lean over to the left side. And with your hand on the mat, giving a gentle push, your rib cage towards the right wall, we want to stretch along the right side of the body. Let's breathe. Relaxing the right arm. Let's bend the left knee and we'll extend the right leg back out to the side. And now, lifting your left arm up, we'll roll the shoulder back a little bit so the left arm is going to stay next to the ear. Your right arm goes to the right side of the leg. We're going to lean to the right with a little push against the mat. Let's press the rib cage to the left and stretch along the left Now we're going to take ourselves 
all the way down to the ground. If you don't have room behind you on the mat, just scoot forward a little bit. We're going to focus on some abdominal strength. We'll reach the arms out in front of us. Now, if your back starts to feel uncomfortable at any point, please bring your hands to the ground to support your back. We definitely don't want to create back pain. But if your back is feeling comfortable, we're going to focus on using our core to slowly lower the spine. Tucking the tailbone under, let's try to come down one vertebrae at a time. Try not to let momentum or gravity pull you to the floor. We want to keep breathing, and we're coming down slowly. Bringing your shoulders and your head and your arms to the ground. Now let's bring the knees towards the chest and go ahead and give yourself a hug. In this tuck, we've got a nice stretch for the lower back. If you would like to massage your back a little bit, you can gently rock side to side. And bringing your knees to the center. Let's place the hand on each knee. And we're going to pull the knees towards the chest and relax the hips. So your knees come out towards the sides of the body. This is sort of like we were earlier in our open child's pose. But this time you can let your feet come apart as well. We're opening the hips. We're stretching the inner thigh. If those muscles are feeling tight, you're in a great stretch. You can stay right here. So we're in an open tuck. If you would like to try happy baby pose, we're going to lift the feet towards the ceiling. Now the knees stay bent, but we're lifting the bottoms of the feet towards the ceiling. We want to bring both arms inside the legs first, and then palms of the hands go over the bottoms of the feet, and we gently press the knees towards the floor on either side of the body. This is happy baby pose. You are more than welcome to stay just like this. If you're liking this stretch and you want to go one step further, we can extend the legs, reaching your heels out towards the walls. Now, if you want to hold onto your feet, you can wrap your first two fingers around your big toes. It gives you a little more length in your arms, but you don't have to hold on to your feet to extend the legs. It's just an option. And if this is not comfortable for you, happy baby is perfect. Let's take a few deep breaths. here, we'll return to our full tuck position, bringing the knees and the feet together. Let's keep the knees bent, and we'll place both feet on the ground. We're going to take the right foot to the left knee, and just let your right knee drop out to the side. From here, lifting your head, let's look at the legs, and we're going to pick the left foot up off the ground, Taking both hands behind the left leg, we want to start pulling the left leg towards the body as we relax the upper body. So we're stretching the outer hip on the right side. If you are feeling a good stretch, if that hip is tight, you can stay just like this, perfect stretch. If you want to, 
You could straighten your left leg and press up through the heel. You start to stretch the left hamstring as you hold that stretch for the right hip. Just an option. You can hold the stretch this way if you like. If you would like to try pigeon pose, then we're going to hold on to the right foot with both hands so we keep the right leg in place as we start to lower the left leg. Now we want to keep the left leg nice and straight and we're going to stop when it's just above the ground. The next step for pigeon pose is to tighten your core and lift the upper body and wrap both arms around the right leg. Now we want to keep the right leg going across the body. You don't want the knee to the chest. You're wrapping your arms around your right leg like you're giving yourself a big hug. We don't want to shrug the shoulders. We want to slide the leg in and up towards the chest as we continue to push forward through the left heel. We want to keep breathing. And this is pigeon pose. Bring the left leg to the ground. Let's relax the upper body and bring the right knee towards the chest. Placing your left hand on your right knee and your right arm to your side. Go ahead and turn your head to the right. And we're going to bring the legs to the left. Now you can take your right leg over the top of your left leg or you can bend both knees if that's more comfortable for your lower back whatever feels best. We do want to make sure that both shoulders are going to stay on the ground. So if you notice that your right shoulder starts to lift up, you just want to adjust slightly so both shoulders can stay down. And then we want to exhale and let your muscles sink into that stretch. The more you can relax, the more you're going to be able to twist. right knee bent. Let's place the right foot on the ground. We'll place the left foot on the right knee and we'll let the left knee drop out to the side. Lifting your head, looking at your legs, we want to pick the right foot up off the ground and take both hands behind the right leg, pulling the knee towards the chest and relaxing the upper body. So if you're feeling a nice stretch in that left hip, you can stay here. If you want to, you can straighten your right leg and push up through the heel and hold the stretch that way. If you would like to try pigeon pose, then we'll hold on to the left foot, keeping the left leg in place Let's bring the right leg all the way down, just above the mat. To continue into pigeon pose, we're going to tighten the abdominals and lift the upper body. Wrapping your arms around the left leg, making sure the left leg continues to go across the body. We'll slide the leg in and up as we push forward through the heel. And 
to release this stretch. We'll bring the right leg down. We'll relax the upper body. We'll pull the left knee towards the chest. With your right hand on your left knee and your left arm to your side, we'll turn the head to the left and we'll take the legs to the right, keeping both shoulders down, adjusting as you need to, and then relaxing and sinking into the twist. Head to the left, legs to the Returning to the center and extending the left leg all the way down. Getting comfortably settled on the mat. And let's take a nice stretch for the whole body. Pointing the toes. We'll lift both arms up and all the way overhead. Reaching back to the fingertips as you point forward through the toes. Chest stretch. And then releasing the stretch, letting your arms fall however they want to be. The rest of your muscles can relax as well. And now gently bending the knee. Let's turn to the side that feels best. Letting yourself relax like you might sink into bed. You can rest on that side. And placing a hand on the ground. Let's give a little push so we can start bringing ourselves up to a seated position. We hear it starting to rain outside. Let's come back to prayer pose. Shoulders relaxed, spine nice and long. Now closing your eyes. As you inhale, think about breathing into the center of your body, filling your body, feeling strong. And as you exhale, your hands can rest in your lap. Your head can rest at one shoulder. So we're taking a stretch for the side of the neck. Let's slowly roll the head forward and over to the other shoulder. And again, carefully forward and 
over to the other side. And we want to continue that stretch. Just keep going. Rest here until you feel ready. 